Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the process of sky replacement and then also um, turning this shot from a day shot into a night shot. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is we've got this shot here of the pirates on the beach and they're having their little fight. Now what we want to do here is we want to replace the sky and put a star field in there. So I've got this nice uh, star picture here and I want to replace that, just a JPEG. And so what I do here is come over to my edit page. Let's take this one and drop it in there like so. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to add the star field as well. So what I'm going to do is drop that on top. And then let's just drag it out so it's the same length as the shot. Okay, so now uh, we've got our star field and we've got our background. And now what we want to do is just highlight them all, right mouse click on it, and select new fusion clip. Okay, now we can, we're finished here, we can proceed over to fusion. And now as you can see, fusion has given us a merge tool together with these two um, nodes. Now if I select Media 1, this shows me that that is the Pirates on the Beach. And then if I select Media 2, that shows me that's the star field. Okay, now what I can do is if I want to label these, let's come over and just push F2 on this. And this is Beach. And then we click OK. And then we come to the bottom one, and then we do the same thing, push F2 and do um, Sky. And now we're all set. So now what we want to do next is let's, we need to add a little more contrast to the picture. So in order to do that, what I'll do is I go to my tools area here, go to color, select color corrector. And then what I do is I hold down the shift key drag it into this area and I wanted it to be the color corrector for just the beach. Let go of my left mouse button and there it is. It has automatically been inserted between the beach node and the merge tool. So now what I'm going to do here in the color corrector is just, just give it a little bit more contrast in the picture. In order to see that make sure and push viewer one and then I can just come over here and add that like so and let's just give it a little bit more saturation just to make it a little easier for us and now what we can do here is we want to do a tracking now for the sky after we have done my qualification so as you can see we've got a pretty nice blue area here and if I come through here and just look at the whole length of the clip. As you can see, there's a good difference between the water and the sky area. So you, some people will use a luminance key. In my situation, I would probably use an ultra keyer for this. And so what I do here is just drag that until you see the color change in the link. And then what I do next is, let's just separate our nodes a little bit. Do a little housekeeping here separate that click on the background color click on the eyedropper move it into the sky area and then click ok if i select ultra keyer on viewer one then i will see here the area that's been qualified okay so that's fine now we've got this but now what i need to do is i have to track this area. Now there's a resolution difference between the sky and the beach because uh, one is one resolution the other is another so we will have to use a um, transform tool to be able to compensate for that. Now what I'm going to do uh, first is I want to track my sky area and the best way to do that is to do it from the original resolution of the beach. So what I'm going to do next is I will come over here to um, the tracking area, select planar tracker, and then what I want to do next here 
is. Let's just drag this down a little bit. Now here, as you can see, we've got our tree that's set up. Here is the inspector for the tracker. So I want to keep it on point. And let's do it translation, rotation, scale, background, luma. That's fine. Now I need to etch out the area that I want. So I want to, I don't want to include these guys because that's going to interfere too much with my tracking. So what I want to do here is left mouse click in this area. So I want to find a good region where I've got a separation between the sky and the rocks here. Good. Okay, so now what I need to do is set my um, reference frame and now we're set to go. And then we just track it forward. And as you can see, the tracker is doing a very good job of it. It's done now. So if I take this here, we've got our tracking data all the way across, that's fine. Now, the next thing I need to do here is I want to assign this to the sky because what we will see here now is on my merge tool, on my merge tool, all I see here is the uh, sky area. I don't see the result of my key. So what I want to do here is go to the, click on the merge tool, right mouse click on it, and select swap inputs. Now I see the sky area that I have, but as you can see, there's a resolution difference between the two. So what I need to do here is um, fix this by adding a transform tool at this point. And now what I want to do here is I can then change the size for that. As you can see here, when I scroll the picture back and forth, the sky is now been inserted, but it is static. So what I want to do here is I want to give it the tracking data that I created from my planar tracker. So what I'm going to do next is select planar tracker, click on create planar transform, so after clicking on Create Planar Transform, we now have this Planar Transform node that contains all my tracking data. So what I can do next is hold down my Shift key, drag that into the link here, let go of that, and now as you can see here, the sky is tracking along with the picture. Okay, so now we're doing going pretty good now at this point. And I want to now color correct the foreground because I want to make this a night shot. So what I'm going to do now is come back to our beach area. Now we don't want to do it before the ultra here, otherwise that's going to mess up our mat area. So what I'm going to do next is we come over to the top here and select color and we select color corrector at that point and then drop that in now what we do next here is let's just we want to bring this here now we want to bring the gain down because it's supposed to be night and then we come over here something like that give it a little more turn the gamma down a little bit brightness down a little more like so and let's just keep it like that and now what I usually do is night shots I tend to drop saturation just a little bit for that and then let's come over here that and bring it down. This is what we started out with and here we have now our finished product, the day shot that has been transformed into a night scene with the night stars in the background tracked with my foreground 
and we've got our color correction on top of that. Now if I want to, I can also jump over to the color page and touch up the colors as well. But this gives me a really good starting point. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look at the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.